And then, then for the poster, I thought I had to at least mention this project we're doing with, uh, with Toyota. Because um, I, I think what we've seen over the, I think like 10 years ago, I was so keen on getting some buildings built that I didn't care about master plans because they took forever and they resulted in, uh, in nothing, uh, at least in the, in the horizon that I could overview. Now that I am older and more patient, uh, and I realize that two decades go quickly, uh, I have more appetite for, for, for master plans. And, um, and, and especially uh, because, of course, like, there's a lot of things that can only be dealt with at, on a kind of holistic level at, at a certain scale. And, um, and we had a the, the fortunate encounter with Akio Toyota, who is the grandchild of the founder of Toyota and the namesake. Um, and he had this idea of turning uh, the site of two former factories at the base of Mount Fuji into an experimental city where we would look at studying the potential impact on, on cities from advances in personal mobility, mobility as a service, autonomy, robotics, smart homes, uh, sort of connectivity through AI, multi-generation, you know, ass assisted living, hydrogen-powered infrastructure, academic research and incubation, um, and basically what we started to do was to look at the typical city of, of today. Uh, and we say today the, the street has basically everything, uh, bikes, cars, uh, uh, pedestrians. And we thought maybe instead sort of to tailor different kinds of experiences, one street only for autonomous vehicles and, and pedestrians, one for mixed personal mobility, that's more like a promenade, and finally a park only uh, for pedestrians. And then every third street varies and weaves in both directions. So you can actually walk through this entire city as a pedestrian moving only through a park or only along a promenade. Um, so the roofs uh, are uh, powering uh, the city with uh, uh, building integrated photovoltaics. And then basically all these different intersections between the three different kinds of streets allows Toyota and collaborating companies to test uh, the Toyota Connected City Traffic Management System. Uh, there's a matter net for the delivery of goods. Uh, Toyota is one of the world pioneers in fuel cell technology using hydrogen, which is one of the most uh, efficient ways of storing energy. Uh, uh, goods can be delivered directly into the homes. There's like assisted living, uh, uh, also for the, for the elderly. Of course, like the demographics of Japan is, is the oldest. Uh, in the world, so in many ways they are experiencing right now what we will soon. And then a lot of the labs and the, and the research uh, of Toyota and their related companies is happening in the, in the work environments. And, and one of the things we also found is that m maybe with, with companies like Amazon delivering a lot of uh, the goods directly to people's homes, the sort of social and cultural spaces of retail are diminishing and maybe there was a way to, to reinvent the marketplace or the fairground uh, at, at the heart of the of this uh, of the city, um, so of course this is a, this is a very kind of high level um, uh, introduction. But but the basic thinking is by purpose building this kind of first uh, uh, woven city um, around this kind of module of of the three different kinds of ways of moving that are interwoven. That means that the street gets very different social and cultural qualities depending on what kind of a street it is having this kind of modular system of every nine uh, block being a, a, an open uh, uh, sort of a public program, and then with the possibility of scaling some of the public programs to become larger uh, elements. Um, not only can we actually conduct this research in a purpose-built environment, but you can also apply the same pattern onto in this case, Barcelona, New York, or, or Tokyo. So it has a lot of sort of general applicability that means that what the, the kind of experience we can harvest uh, at the base of Mount Fuji could potentially uh, uh, be, be taken, uh, taken elsewhere.